Hello again and welcome to Infinite Transcendence and today we're on part two of the crazy dating series and this one's more about you're already in there you missed the early signs you maybe you saw the early signs that were in denial you like the sex too much <laughs> whatever the reason was you missed those early signs and now you're in the relationship with a person who's crazy unstable wildly possessive whatever how to mitigate it and how to start for getting your way out of there and the first part I'll say definitely make sure you leave before they do too much damage people like to stay people like to justify people get a lot of guys they figure this is the best they're ever gonna do this is the best sex they've ever had they don't think they can do any better they have a low self-esteem and they stay around and girls get caught up and they put some investment in some guy they quote they're in love with him or whatever and they don't want to leave but it's best to leave not only for, for, forget all the damage and things that they can do only from the logical perspective I would look at it from a pragmatic perspective it's better to be out there meeting new prospects and meeting new people and investing your time to somebody who's better quality than it is to keep holding down bad stock. For instance, let's say you have a bad inve investment that keeps on dropping and dropping and dropping. At what point do you let it go? You can say, well, I already invested this. I'm going to keep holding it. But if it keeps dropping precipitously, it may be better just to take, cut your losses and leave. Because time is valuable, especially for girls, because they have more of a limited time window. Your time is valuable, so don't waste it on those individuals because you think you're in love or whatever that <laughs> word means. Um, so... What are some things you might notice from a person who is crazy once you're in there? A lot of lies, lots of inconsistencies. Things are, start, things are starting to not add up. People, things they told you about family members and friends are untrue. Maybe you checked their Facebook page, you saw things that didn't add up. Maybe, maybe you heard things about from their past boyfriends or, or girlfriends or lovers or or things about from their, they said they had a job they never had. They said they used to do this when they used to do that. And you start to see things that just aren't making sense anymore. You know, a lot of these things are, you know, one minute they're close. And it's a lot of people what they do for control is one minute they're close and one minute they're distant. They keep you close. They keep you distant. It's like a hot, cold manipulation to keep you wondering if they're going to be there and gone at any time, which is, is actually from a seduction strategy that is that works because especially for guys, if you show too much attention, you can drive them off. You, you want to show enough to keep them there and then make them always wonder. Now, when it comes to rela relationship, they can be used as a form of control. You keep a person always wondering whether they're going to be there or not. That is also a sign. A person's angry at you, then they come back. They say they're done with you for good, then they come back. That's a bad sign. In some extreme cases, you might even get suicide notes and things like that where people threaten to kill themselves. Devil had that in the past. Um, that's another form of control. You don't do what I say, or I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end it all. Then, then they never do it. A lot. That's a cry for attention, a cry for help, a cry to keep you there. I know it sounds grim, but you gotta leave. You can't help people. You can't change them. You can't fix them. You can't repair them with love or sex or whatever. People, especially girls, I think, are big on trying to do. And I admit, even for myself, although it wasn't for fixing them, I am my at past experiences. I tried to. I saw the good in people, and I, I still, I'm a big person, obviously I'm a big personal growth, uh, self-mastery kind of person, and I saw people who wanted to do better, not just with girls or relationships, but in life, and my thing was, people say they want help, and then they you try to help them, and then you realize, yeah, they don't really want help at all, they say they want to do better, but in most cases, they don't want to do better, they want to suck up your time, suck up your energy, and they just say things, they keep, they keep you there, you put this time and energy in them, but people have to help themselves, people don't want to help themselves, there's nothing you can do, you're not a licensed therapist, you're not a professional, and people aren't going to change until they want to. And speaking of which, uh, in terms of changing another a aspect that's negative, people get might start getting more possessive. They seem kind of cool at first, and they start going through your pro personal possessions, your phones. They start going through your social media, threatening other people. Uh, I had one girl at an old job threaten another girl to stay away from me, which I wasn't even with that girl or the other girl, but this girl was just crazy. I've had a lot of those situations where girls try to, or from my experience, where girls try to cut off all options or cut off whatever they perceive as an option. Or one thing they'll try to do is they'll become best friends with the, a lot of girls do it from my experience. They'll become best friends with the uh, other, quote unquote, other girl they perceive as a threat. And then they'll try to get in close with them to screen if they're a threat or not. And then if things go or they see that person moving, they try to cut them off or make them feel guilty. That's another tactic to look out for. Now, I don't know if guys so much do that. I think with guys, guys tend to be more like stay away from her. They tend to flip out and get violent and get possessive. Or guys just tend to want to keep other guys away, period. I don't think guys usually generally try to be friends with other guys um, when they're trying to score theirs. Guys just want to get in and get it done. So another thing is their stability starts to affect, their own, affect your life. You'll notice people from my experience, people who are crazy, a lot of times they're 
friends and family are crazy. People tend to be around others like themselves. Their sisters are crazy. For me, with dealing with girls, they just they have an unstable life, and that instability starts to affect your stability because then you get caught on it. You get emotionally attached or hooked on somebody, and then you find out something's wrong with them. Or whatever the case is, then you're constantly de you know, depressed, or you're worried, or you're just frustrated. And you, it starts to suck out. It starts to drain your energy. You know, you have things you want to get. You, you're as me. I want to live my life balanced. I have, well, I have work, business. I have you know business to take care of. I have, I want to stay in stay in great shape, eat well. I want to get out, meet new people, see different things, travel. I don't need the burden of a person who's going to drag me to the pit with them. I don't need that uh, of that drain. It, for me, it, it, what took made, made me take such a long break was not even the fear of getting hurt or whatever. It's more like the time, the hassle, the frustration, the drama, being with people who constantly cause chaos and constantly have problems and it had to do with crazy families and or even harassment or making your personal life difficult or your job life difficult or whatever it just became too much now in my case i didn't have kids or spend blow cash on them or have to deal with any settlements or anything <laughs> did not nowhere near that but even then it can start to slow you down and mess you up so like i said before definitely try to get out before it gets too bad those are some signs of a person who hey, once you get in those are some signs to look for and uh, look forward to i uh, look for and try to see those and get out of there before it gets too damaging or you have too many problems and uh, again uh, let me know what you think do you have you been through this what's your experience again like subscribe check the subscription uh, definitely subscribe for new and interesting content got podcast videos everything else and transcend infinitely and the next part stay tuned for part three which is how to complete more about the steps that you want to take to get out and some of the and hurdles you might encounter there